Hello, I'm Jennifer Raitt, Director of Planning and Community Development and Secretary Ex Officio of the Arlington Redevelopment Board, the ARB. And I will be taking you through Warrant Article 34, a bylaw amendment for marijuana uses for the 2021 Annual Town Meeting. Next. Arlington's history amending zoning for recreational marijuana uses began in 2017 when town meeting adopted a moratorium on, on recreational marijuana establishments. Medical marijuana treatment centers had already been allowed in the zoning bylaw. During the moratorium, the town organized a marijuana study group to establish goals, a timeline, and a process for local policy development. Town meeting then set recreational marijuana requirements in 2018, and that led to the first retail dispensary opening in 2020. Next. On November 30th, 2020, the Cannabis Control Commission approved new medical and adult use regulations, which brought more parity to the two programs, creating a new license that allows an operator to buy product from growers, store product, and sell to customers through delivery services, prohibiting delivery operators from having a public retail presence, and lastly, requiring delivery operators to go through a host community agreement and regulatory processes prior to approval or opening. Next. The new regulations approved by the Cannabis Control Commission created two types of delivery licenses, marijuana courier and marijuana delivery operator. The marijuana courier license is substantially the same as delivery only license it allows delivery for marijuana retail stores. Next. The marijuana delivery operator license allows an operator to buy product wholesale from growers and manufacturers, store the product, and sell to their own customers. These operators are not allowed a public retail presence. These operators are also required to store product in a warehouse within the host community. Next. There are three types of delivery activities, including the marijuana courier who can engage in retail direct delivery as fulfilled by phone or via online orders. Next. A marijuana courier can also make third party deliveries whereby customers browse product options through multiple establishments online, place orders with a select establishment, and then get door to door delivery of their product. Next. A marijuana delivery operator can, delivery, can send delivery products to customers who purchase from a wholesaler or a reseller. Next. The main purpose of this amendment is to define and provide for the new license type, marijuana delivery operator license. The amendment creates a new marijuana delivery only retailer and defines it consistent with the Cannabis Control Commission's regulations. Because this use requires a warehouse facility to store products, its land use is similar to the existing marijuana production facility use, which is already defined and allowed in the zoning bylaw. As such, the amendment proposes to allow this use in the B4 and industrial zoning districts. The ARB believes that these districts are the most appropriate districts for this new use. The use, as many others do, requires a special permit from the redevelopment board. Next. The ARB notes that the demand for this type of use may in fact be limited. The regulations make delivery licenses exclusively available to economic empowerment applicants and social equity program participants for a minimum of three years. Neither Apothka or ESCAR, the two marijuana retailers licensed in Arlington, are economic empowerment licensees or social equity program participants. The ARB acknowledges, however, that as a community that has allowed adult use marijuana uses, the town and the zoning bylaw should reflect the current license types in a proactive manner. Other amendments in Article 34 bring Section 8.3 in alignment with the Cannabis Control Commission regulations at 935 CMR 500 and 935 CMR 501. The ARB voted 5 to 0 at their April 5th meeting to recommend favorable action on Article 34. Thank you.